Hey there guys, how are you? It's almost that time of the year once again. I'm not talking about Thanksgiving where you celebrate your family while eating a big piece of meat called a turkey. No, no, no. It's that time to buy stuff that you don't want and don't need to impress people that you don't like. But I like low price deals and consumer electronics and goods. And plus I like movies, optical little discs that I put into a player and I watch them because they have superior picture quality and phenomenal audio quality. And with all that said, I want to break down every great Black Friday 2022 sale that I care about. This will include movies, TVs, Blu-ray players, some electronics, now sit back and relax and let me do all the work. I know that sounds creepy, but just hang with me. All right, so these are some Black Friday deals at Best Buy. Uh, let's break down the 4K movies because that's what I mostly care about. I want to add to that collection back there. And keep in mind, you don't have to wait for Black Friday anymore. No, 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 no. You don't have to go out amongst the unwashed masses like I used to have to in all my previous flip trip videos. You can sit home in the comfort of your own underwear and order these online right now today as you're watching this video. Or you can you can be like me and brave out and adventure out into the scary place called society. So I'll probably go to Best Buy and make another video later, but let's just break these movies down. The first one up is Jurassic World Dominion for $9.99. I know like seven people like this movie. My recommendation would be if you want a $10 coaster, buy this on 4K, set it beside you as you watch better movies on your TV. Uh, Interstellar for $7.99. Listen, Interstellar is one of those movies... I've always tried to like, I've never loved, but every time they're in space, oh, it's a beautiful image, and I can only imagine how great this looks on 4K. I'm actually thinking, I don't know if I own this or not. I'm going to check. If I don't, I might just buy this for $8, just because the picture quality alone, I feel, will be phenomenal on my uh, new OLED TV. Next up is The Northman. I already own this. That's $9.99 at Black or Best Buy. Uh, next up is The Lost Boys. Ever since I was a young, stupid little kid, I wanted to become one of The Lost Boys. That or not become one of The Lost Boys and join Corey Feldman and Corey Haim as they fight The Lost Boys. Either one would have been okay with me, but I like the, the way the cover art works. Uh, it's $9.99 as well. This is a must-have. I already own the Steelbook. It's sitting back there on the shelf, but The Batman. For $9.99, that's a stellar deal. On 4K, you, you can't beat that. If you don't own it, go buy it now. Everything, everywhere, all at once for $10 at Best Buy. I'm just going to say $10, not $9.99. It's kind of a, a tongue twister. I saw this months after it came out, and I was like, why did I wait so long to watch that? But you know what? I think savoring the flavor made it a better movie. I will probably pick this up because... Hollywood, the Hollywood studio system just doesn't make movies like this. Um, Matrix Resolution Erection uh, for $9.99 at Best Buy. You're better than that. Don't buy it. Even if it was free and they were handing it out with like a, a gift card for $25, I st that's a lie. I would take it for the gift card, then I would immediately throw the movie in the trash. Uh, continuing on with $10. 4K movies, Poltergeist, ooh, I actually just watched that around Halloween time for like the 27th time of my life, I'm Entice, Elvis, um, wasn't a big fan of this, it sort of just felt like a glammed over montage sequence of his life, It's it didn't show the grittiness that I was hoping for from a biopic of Elvis, and plus Tom Hanks' voice in this movie, I just don't know if I can watch that again, we are little children, no thank you. Uh, Fantastic Bees for $10, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for $10, I never got around to seeing that. Oh, the unbearable weight of massive talent or something? What's that, what's that in your, what's that in your pocket, a shark or something? For $10, I already own this. Uh, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, oh, it's all three Spider-Man movies. The trilogy for $25. Now, do I really need Spider-Man 3? Maybe I do. I don't mind watching Topher Grace cry. Actually, Tobey Maguire cried. After you put some dirt in someone's eye. Uh, but either way, $25 for all three of those on 4K, that's a great deal. I actually might get that as well. I don't want the third one, but you just got to go with it. Uh, the Labyrinth, great movie. I loved that growing up for $10. Oh, Home Alone, my favorite Christmas movie of all time. I always wished my parents would forget about me, leave me alone, and two guys would try to break in our house, and I would have to defend our home with micro-machines and Christmas ornaments, except I would die, violently and brutally. That's how the real world works, everyone, okay? Uh, that's $13, which is baffling to me, seeing how I think last year this was $10 or $12, and it's still $13. Why is Home, home Loan's great, but at this point, Home Loan should be like, seven dollars on 4k it's it's already been out for so long uh you have fury on 4k 
fun war movie there. Uh, Patriot Games for $7.99. Then you have a Spider-Man No Way Home for $13.99. You know, great movie. I enjoy it, but it should be a little bit cheaper at this point. I mean, everyone who really wanted it probably already bought it. I think that should be like a $10 movie at this point. Let's go to page two here. Now, uh, oh, these are not really in the order I want them to be. But either way, uh, the, we have The Last Duel. That's sort of like a one-time watch for me. Uh, then you have The Wolf of Wall Street on 4K. I already own the 4K, one of my favorite movies of all time. Looking at Margot Robbie in 4K never gets old. And heck, looking at Leonardo DiCaprio in 4K doesn't get old in my opinion. A Wonderful Life for $7.99 on 4K, that's a great deal. Some of All Fears probably wouldn't pick that up for $8.00. Uh, then you have Amazing Spider-Man mo Movie Collection. So you get all two Spider-Man movies for $15. Do you really want the Amazing Spider-Man 2? Hey, Spider-Man, it's my birthday. I'm going to blow up my candles. I don't need to see Jamie Foxx painted in blue in 4K. Uh, you got Top Gun there for $8. Uh, I would recommend picking that up. Top Gun Maverick's even better. Then you have Dune for $10. Dune, to me, is like what 4k can achieve and accomplish and showcase truly a cinematic masterpiece of cinematography the stories and eh, some people like it i wasn't in love with it uh, but for 10 bucks doing on 4k uh why not now this is my go-to uh this black friday season i'm definitely picking this up for a fact live die repeat one of the most underrated films of all time for 10 bucks definitely picking that up uh Moonfall, no thank you. By the way, did you guys ever watch my Moonfall review? <laughs> I crap on it for about 10 minutes. Uh, you got Zack Snyder's Justice League on 4K for 10 bucks, not a bad deal. Looper for $10. Uh, Monty Python, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, no thank you. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness for $16.99. Uh, it's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, that's probably the only place I'll revisit that movie anytime soon. No Time to Die for 10 bucks. Uh, that's a great looking movie. I can only imagine how good that looks on 4K. I already own it. Um, but yeah, I, I'd recommend picking it up. It is a nice looking 4K. Uh, Sicario. Oddly enough, I love Sicario. I own the sequel on, on Blu-ray or on 4K. I don't own the first one on 4K. So for $8, one of my favorite movies, definitely going to get it. Uncharted for $14. No thanks. Uh, let's go to the next page here. So I take a drink of this. All right, some more $10 titles here. You have Heavy Metal for 10 bucks, The Suicide Squad. Yeah, not really a fan. Um, Free Guy, 13 bucks. That's that sort of feels like it should be 10 bucks at this point. Eternals, we'll just keep going. Not for $13, not even for free. Dark Crystal for 10 bucks. Oh, it's Morbin time, baby. Now listen, Morbius for $13.99 sounds a little bit overpriced, right? Uh, and it is because it's really not a real movie, but to see a disaster such as Morbius in 4k, almost priceless. If you really think about it, uh, but for $14, this better come with a lock of Jared Leto's hair. And I don't want it. Uh, the protege for nine 99. Ooh, the Shawshank redemption Ugh, for 10 bucks. Go get it right now. I already own it. I would recommend go running out, get it right now, order it online. Uh, but with all that, let me do my Morgan Freeman impression. And here we go. Black Friday is around the corner, and you either get busy living or you get busy dying. And there we go. All right, the next one, Halloween Kills, almost killed me for $10. The Green Mile, ooh, that's another great film. Uh, I would definitely probably get that for $10. Bucks. Right, right on, not quite on the level of Shawshank for me, but a few notches down here, but still a great movie. Uh, ambulance, nah, Lost City, nah, one time watch. Hacksaw Ridge, enjoyed it, probably wouldn't watch it again anytime soon, but for $8, if you like the movie, go get it. All right, let's keep going here. Quiet Place for $8 on 4K. I mean, it's crazy. $8 4K titles. I'm, I've said this one, I'll say it again. If you're a fan of physical media and you actually enjoy picture quality and lossless audio that sounds phenomenal, and you have a, a home theater sound system or even a good TV and you enjoy all these things, and you don't like to look at pixelated movies with low bit rate, get physical media while you can before they take it away from us. Uh, next one up, Scream for $10. And Glorious Bastards on, for $10. Now listen, huge Tarantino fan. I will buy all of his movies on 4K, but I will give you a word of advice when it comes to Inglorious Bastards on 4K. The picture quality is a little bit hit or miss. 
they sort of destroyed it a little bit and took out the the filmic qualities of this and try to DNR it a little bit too much and clean up the grain. There's some issues with the Inglorious Bastards on 4K. If you don't own the movie for ten bucks on 4K, maybe get it. But I've heard the Blu-ray is just as good. Uh, Quiet Place Two for eight dollars. That's a great deal. All right. Then we have Spiral, uh, the book of crap or shadows, whatever, uh, for $10. I think that's the steelbook. It's showing the steelbook on Best Buy's website. So I'm going to say it's the, yeah, it's the steelbook. It says steelbook. For, so if you want it, maybe get it Green Knight for $10. Uh, let's see. Let's skim over some of these. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Terminator 2 is the best action movie ever made. I will stand by that. I, it, you can't top it. It has not been topped since 1991. There, I said it. But, but, the 4K rendition of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, they destroyed it. They took everything that was great and 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 the charm of it and the film grain and some of the color palettes, and now everyone looks like a Barbie doll. They made Arnold... And the T-1000 and everyone else, they look like shiny plastic Barbie dolls wrapped in saran wrap. And they don't look, I don't want to say they don't look human because they're actually cybernetic organisms, but they just destroyed the film grain. And I hate when they do that. For some reason, whenever they clean up old 4K titles, they feel like everything should look like a new digital Netflix movie. And no, no, that I don't want it to look like it was shot on someone's cell phone. No, thank you. Uh, so I would use heavy caution when buying this. Maybe you don't get it, but if you don't own the movie and you want to spend $8 on 4K, go for it. Uh, Dirty Dancing, no one puts baby in a corner, but for uh, $10, no one definitely will. Uh, the Goonies on 4K, go get it. Why not? Uh, skip some of these. Shang-Chi for $13, eh, a couple dollars too too much for me. Oh, you got to get Total Recall. Screw you! For $8? Absolutely. That sounded filthy. Uh, you got the fifth element here for uh, $10. Uh, let's keep going. A lot of great titles this year. And I'm hoping uh, the store, the actual physical location of Best Buy has all these. Uh, we'll see. Alita Battle Angel for $8. Hell or High Water, I already own it. Clockwork Orange for $10. I don't know how many times in my life I could watch that. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl for $15. That Blu-ray transfer, at least previously, it had some issues. And if this is the same original 4K transfer it kind of looks a little bit junky. Like, the Blu-ray almost looks better, if not better. Uh, Ghostbusters for $10. I'm trying to think if I own that on 4K. I don't believe I do. Uh, Jurassic Park for $10. Go get it right now. Uh, Nightmare Alley. Uh, Thor Ragnar. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's go to the next page. I just want to name some of the, the, the have-to titles. No, I don't need that. The Hobbit for 80 no, thank you, $84 for The Hobbit? You have to pay me to take that. The Back to the Future trilogy right here for $39.99, that seems a little pricey to me. That, sh that seems like it should be $30. Don't get me wrong, one of the best trilogies ever made. But at this point, the Back to the Future trilogy should be like $30, no more, no less. Uh, That's not a Black Friday deal. Who framed Roger Rabbit for $20? Yeah, right. All right, let's check a few more pages on here and see if they have any other deals. Okay, let's get back into the $10 stuff. You got Mortal Kombat, the new one for $10. No thanks, but if they came out with a 1995 Mortal Kombat for $10, I would be in my car right now driving to pick it up. I need that movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. Best video game movie ever made. I stand by it. Knives Out for $10. Not a bad deal. Deal. Uh, Hocus Pocus for $13. That should be $10 at this point in life. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about too many of the $15 titles. Um, for me, I, I'm like a $10 budget kind of guy. Even if it's a movie I don't love, maybe I can pull the trigger for $10 on 4K. But going over that, I got to hold back. Fallout on 4K for $8. Go get that if you haven't already. That's phenomenal picture quality. All right. Keep going here. You got, uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for Best Buy there. So those are all the great deals at Best Buy when it comes to optical media. Those are some of the titles I would be intrigued in or intrigued about. Okay, that's going to wrap up the 4K titles you guys should check out at Best Buy this Black Friday season. 
Now, very quickly, before we move on to another website and we check out the deals there, I first want to mention a few things about Best Buy before we continue on. If you guys are looking for a new TV, there are some great deals right now. I'm not going to dive into all the different TVs, uh, but for me, OLED is the way of life. If you want superior picture quality, great contrast, pitch black, inky, dark levels on your TV, just get an OLED. I know they're a little bit pricey, but if you can afford it, if you've been saving up and you want the best picture quality for your home Im entertainment and to get immersed into those movies, go with OLED. I'm an LG OLED C2 kind of guy. I just bought the 83 inch the other day from Costco. If you do have a Costco membership, I recommend getting your TVs and your electronics there because they come with an extended couple extra years of warranty for free. So if you have a Costco membership, go there, buy your electronics. That's where I bought mine. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for an LG OLED TV specifically, uh, Best Buy and Costco and many other places have this deal, but they dropped significantly. Right now you can get an LG 65 inch C2 OLED Evo panel 4K for $16.99. That's a great deal. Originally, when I bought my 65-inch OLED TV back in 2017, it was like $3,000 and some change, a little bit over $3,000. It might have been $3,500. So this is a great deal. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to see what the 83-inch um, the OLED TV is going for. Okay, the 27-inch, 77-inch, uh, what did I just say? I think I just had an aneurysm. The LG 77-inch C2 TV is $2,500. Oh, that's like, that's too good to be true. I would have killed for a deal like that years ago. All right. Where's the 83 inch? Let's see. Come here. There's the Sony 83 inch OLED. That's $4,800. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. This is the same TV I have. It's the LG 83 inch C2. Uh, it's $3,999. I bought mine from Costco, like I said, because it came with a better warranty. But for $4,000 for an 83-inch OLED TV, this was originally $5,000. Uh, and before that, it was like $5,200 just a few months ago. So if you got the cash or you want to put it on a credit card like I did because I'm poor, uh, now's the time to buy an OLED. Okay, let's go to another store. Okay, now let's head over to that filthy home away from home known as Walmart. And as I'm cruising their website, which is kind of terrible and not very organized, I'm just going to say right now, all of the same deals at Best Buy are sort of at Walmart. I would actually say Best Buy is the go-to place if you want like a like physical media or anything this Black Friday. I'll still go to Walmart because I like to go in there and just I, it's chaotic and scary and filthy. For some reason, I, I like I'm attracted to the danger element of it. I know it's getting weird, but yeah, looking at their website very quickly, it looks like all the same deals Best Buy already has, uh, unless there's something hidden in here I'm not seeing. Uh, like really, I would at this point. Walmart needs $5 4K movies. That's that's the way I'm thinking about it. I'm seeing a lot of like $23 titles, but once again, Walmart's website is always different than what's actually in the store sometimes, so don't trust it. Let's just get out of here, and let's go to Target now. It's a little bit cleaner. The lighting's better, and the people smell better. <laughs> okay, after cruising Target's website, it looks like it's sort of weird. Like, they have price ranges for everything rather than an exact price. I, that's a little bit insane. But, yeah, you can buy Top Gun Maverick for $19.99 or $34.99. No, thank you. How about $9.99? Uh, so my advice to you is just go to Best Buy this year or just buy this stuff online or at Amazon. I, I like to go to the physical locations because if we don't keep going, they will slowly die and fade away. That's why these selections of movies are slowly, slowly dwindling everywhere you go. Uh, but with all that said, if you do if you do go to Best Buy and there's a movie that you really want, guess what they'll do? They typically will price match that to Amazon's price, which is 99% per, 9 of the time going to be the lowest, all, or they'll price match it to Target. So just go to Best Buy. They'll price match everything. Buy it all there. If they don't have it in stock... Well, I guess just get it online. So those are my recommendations. That's my Black Friday plan. Now, let me know down below. Do you guys want to see a brand new foot trip this Black Friday going out amongst the unwashed masses to buy stuff I don't want and don't need, but it's fun doing it nevertheless? Let me know that down below. Or what movies are you picking up this Black Friday? And are you picking up anything else like a Blu-ray player, a TV? Yeah, let me know all of that down below. So either way, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. That way I can see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.